What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of The Walking Dead. Season 2, Episode 5. I almost forgot to say that shit again. Gotta let the people know where we at. How the fuck did that happen? How? Well, many reasons why. There's a fireplace! Jesus Christ! We have to get the morgue. They're gonna freeze to death. Who is them? He's just gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. The ice. It was too thin. I just. Once that ice started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You could have. You could have. Man, don't blame me for that shit, don't Bonnie. Listen to her, <laughs> this ain't on you. Hell no, nah, it ain't on me. I don't blame me. You <laughs> son of a bitch. This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! The hell it ain't! Kenny has a point. He does. He's crazy! Why? Because your friend here turned out to be a shitbag after all? He's just a scared kid! This ain't on he him! He ain't no kid. Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit. Yeah, Kenny. Damn. Fuck you. Ass whooping. Uh, uh, you brother. Uh, 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 fuck, Kenny. Uh, shit. Uh, Kenny, stop it. Yeah, because you don't know who in this house yet. I wouldn't care, but. Just stop. What if his friends is upstairs? And then they come downstairs and see you beating his ass. You're gonna have to kill Arvo one way or the what? other. Lose your taste for this sort of thing. So I don't I don't really know what we're doing here. Either What did you do to him? I beat his ass. What you think I did to him? <laughs> There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. Hey, he said fuck you, so fuck him too. Don't talk shit, don't get your ass beat. You wanna tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is me? beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know Oh my god. Kenny is cool. What the hell are you talking about? I'm tying him up. Why don't you just kill this Fine. motherfucker? Why keep him? Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just don't understand the point of keeping him alive. You got a light? I thought I had matches. You kept it. Is that gonna help us start a fire? Hell yeah. Alright, that's cool. But I'm worried about where Arvo's people are. Like, where are these people at? Is it just gonna run in this bitch and start shooting? Because you never know. Hey, I have no remorse for Arvo. I'm sorry. <laughs> he started this shit. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Mike, will you leave that dumb motherfucker alone? I just don't understand the point of having him. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... You really liked him, didn't you? He just hasn't felt this... this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. 
God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. We'll be okay. Trust me. I wonder what would have happened if I would have saved If you Luke. say so. Post in the comments what happened if you went back and got Luke. Thank you. I mean, he probably would have ended up dead anyway. I can't but. take this shit anymore. <laughs> Mike, you need to grow some nuts, bruh. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just... Give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. I just I don't understand what the, what is what is their plan here with Arvo? Clem. Just be careful. With who? Kenny? Kenny ain't gonna do nothing to me. So, is, that was their spot. The people that we killed, that was their place. So, Arvo's the only one left. So, there's no point in keeping him. Right? I don't know. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. Oh, I know no, no, no. I, I don't care. Mean, you can't do damn. that. Damn. Actually, uh, I agree Clem, with you, Kenny. You know me. I agree with you. you know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. You didn't scare me, Kenny. I didn't it mean to click again. that. That's a promise. I think you should have killed him, but... <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on, let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. What did Jane do? We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. All right. I hate when it does that. I ain't doing nothing, Kenny. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. All those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We should go back south. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than what about snow Mexico? and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I don't know why you want to go to I've Mexico. I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago. Just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! Don't flip out, bro. <sighs> Calm your nuts. <laughs> we'll get it working. We'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Yeah, that baby is gonna be an issue. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. <laughs> that reminded me of the real Walking Dead episode. I ain't even gonna tell you because you might not have saw it, but it was a part when um i don't even remember their damn names now you know tyrese or Ty 
what's his name? Tyrese Tyrone. And then that, that older lady with the short hair. When they were in the Wish woods together. This place. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not even going to tell the story because it's going to ruin The Walking Dead if you didn't see it. But when they was in the cabin together with those two girls. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that was so crazy. That's all I'm going to say. Don't want to ruin it. What do you want? Nothing, bitch. Fuck you. Nothing? Don't give me no attitude. Nothing, huh? It must be nice being oh a pretty little god. girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. Shut your ugly ass up. You and I both know you had a chance to save me. back Luke. up, bitch. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Okay. Just one less person I gotta worry about. When some walkers on your ass don't come crying to me. <laughs> Cause see, I remember this shit. They're gonna be talking about help, Clementine, help. I'm like, bitch, you was talking shit outside. Like I wasn't good enough. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it. <laughs> Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. Uh, he'll be fine. Oh, damn it. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy with an inch Oh, it of doesn't his life. even matter. We are way past fine. The dude is gonna get killed regardless anyway. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. That's what you gotta do in this world. Kenny isn't Carver, you might be right. We could still make this work. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. Hey, Kenny ain't gonna try me, so... You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. It's worth a lot because he ain't going to try me. Because if he try me... I think it needs food or something. This baby is going to be a huge issue. Seems like you've done that before. Uh, want to try? Want to try? No way. It's going to puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. Oh, it puked. <laughs> it actually did. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. They all died, didn't they? Lost four people before we got him out. Wasn't worth it. Uh, All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Damn. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Hey, you got the truck running. He got it working. So my thing is, what are y'all gonna do with Arvo? I know I keep saying that, but it's like, what's your what's your end plan here? What's your game plan? It works. What I tell you. You got some gas in that bitch. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? Uh, At least a week. We should look for and more. And for the baby? People? Not much. Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. 
I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about Where this. are we going? I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Oh, is that the, Wellington? the big place? Kenny, it's freezing up here. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're oh not going Oh my back. god. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. I my know, friend Krista. But... She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. I mean, you're taking a chance regardless. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about our boy? Man, fuck Ooh, our Oh, boy. the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave yes. him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Fuck Arvo. Yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Yeah. Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going to I don't remember. <laughs> that must have been from the first season. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them. And don't leave, neither. I mean, why sleep on it? We got the car. We can make it fucking 50 miles. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Oh, bro. I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, I don't really know why we're going to sleep and we could be moving right now, but... God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid that left. That's it. That ain't enough to sit around. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I don't know. I think he'd tell me to not trust anyone and that we should keep moving. I think you're right. I don't really know if he'd say that or not, but... We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? I guess. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. Uh, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. 
We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, Glenn. you my homie, Kenny. Just don't be stupid, and I won't have to kill Look, you in the future. We'll figure everything out in the morning. So we're gonna wait until the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. See, why couldn't we? Why couldn't have we just set, talked like that when everybody was outside? It seems like when everybody's together, shit gets crazy. Kenny just needs to calm the hell down sometimes, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going to pause this episode here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.